creating quizzes on Instagram stories is a great way to engage your audience and get them interacting with you, educate them on your business and how to engage with you in the future, but it's also a great way to sample what they're thinking, where they're at, and strategize how you can best reach them. So using quizzes inside of your Instagram stories is incredibly helpful to your growth as an entrepreneur. So let's take a look at how to do that inside of the Instagram ecosystem. Down at the bottom of your profile, you're going to click on that plus sign and click over to stories. Inside of stories, you are going to create your background. You can either film it or you can swipe up and you can add in a background. You're then going to go to your engagement tools. This is up at the top right corner and it looks like a little smiley face with a little corner bent up. You are then going to scroll down to where you see the quiz button and at that point you're going to be able to type in your question. Now I do recommend that you have three to five questions ready to go. So you're going to want to do this as an actual quiz, not a one-off. On occasion, you can do it as a one-off quiz and just kind of gauge their engagement with it, but I do recommend if you're kind of making this more fun for them or giving them a reason to go through it that you're doing about three to five. You don't want to go too far over five because that then kind of sees a lot of people drop off, but three to five is usually a good place to go. And you're going to want to do this in a way that engages them with your business. So quiz them. Do you know what it's actually like to write a book? Do you know the behind the scenes of creating a candle? Is this the right way or the wrong way? So you're asking questions that actually have to do with your business. So you're going to type your question up at the top and then you're going to be able to click on option one and you'll say answer one and then option two you'll say answer two and you'll see that it auto populates that is the correct answer all you have to do is press on one of the other letters and it will do it for you so let's just type in answer three and then let's say that that's the correct one. We're just going to type on the letter C and it puts the little check mark there. So whatever the correct answer is, you're going to put the check mark on that one and you'll be good to go. Now you can have several different answers. So you can actually type in answer four if you need to, but you do not have to do all through the four questions or four answers. You can do two, you can do three, whatever it happens to be. So at that point, you are going to be able to look up at the top and you'll see the little color wheel there. If you click on that, it's going to give you some different options for colors. So whatever stands out best with your background will work for you. And if you are using a video as your background, make sure that you're mentioning to it and you're pointing to it. So if you're on screen creating a video, you just want to point and say, put your answer here. What do you think of this here? If you do not have enough space for your question up at the top of this quiz box, I would say put a tiny segment of it there and then use the text tool to add the actual longer question above it so they know what it is that they're answering. Um, and you can actually, if you've got like options, you're showing them and you're allowing them to pick things or whatever, you can draw arrows to it in your background, whatever it happens to be. So let's just say we like this color. We're going to go ahead and click OK. And then we're going to be able to resize it and put it wherever we need to on screen and then they will be able to go ahead and decorate it if you need to use any of your other engagement tools, if you want to add text, if you want to add color, if you want to do whatever, you can do whatever you need to do inside of your Instagram story, and then you're just going to click send to, and when you do that, you will be able to send it to wherever you need to. So you can actually send this as a DM to people if you need, otherwise you're going to send it directly to your story. I'm going to tap off so it doesn't go to my story because I didn't fill it out there, um, but when people do go over to check on your quiz, they can then go through and pick an answer. If they get the correct answer, they're going to get a little confetti burst on the screen and they'll know that they were correct. It will tell them the correct answer if they picked the wrong one. Typically, we're using this to engage with them. We can then ask them a question, and I really highly suggest that after the fact, you are going back in and you're doing a last story with you on screen or some kind of background that's nice and pretty that goes along with what you've just done, and you're going to reward them in some way. So tell them a quick pro tip that they can take and use, or give them a code to use on your website for a percentage off of your whatever. You want to make sure you're doing something to reward them for taking that quiz. So give them a piece of knowledge. Give them them a freebie, give them a discount code, give them something to engage with you. You want to make sure it's a quick little win. It doesn't have to cost you money. It doesn't have to involve them spending money with you. It can just be something as simple as 
Uh, here is just a little nugget of information you can take and do with your day. Or here's a little dance party with me. You, you won. Congratulations. So you can actually put some music on screen and just dance around. Something to give them that psychological win. And then you can move forward. I recommend doing this about once or twice per week. And then if you want to do the one-off quizzes as you're going, if it comes up as you are creating your stories, that's totally fine. But to really make sure you're training people to engage with you and go through these quizzes, once to twice a week is probably a really good standard for implementing this into your Instagram story story strategy. Now if you have questions on your Instagram and how to grow, you can go ahead and leave those questions down below. Make sure you hit the subscribe and notification bell because Instagram is rolling out all these new features and we are here bringing it to you first before anybody else so that you can level up what you're doing and create more profit inside of your business through your smart social media marketing by using the engagement tools and features that Instagram is offering to us to grow our accounts. They really want us to grow and we are taking advantage of what they are offering and we cannot wait to help you grow your Instagram account as well. Make sure you check out the link down below. I've linked the 2021 Instagram strategy for right now so that you know exactly what to do with the algorithm in all the sections of Instagram so you can level up your business and grow on Instagram. I'll see you in the next video.